What is going on? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having a great day. Today, I'm going to be talking about trading stocks. It's not something I talk about in this channel a lot, but I have been in the stock market for quite some time. And I figured alongside of gaming content, I will also provide you guys with some content on trading and some strategies that I use. Wouldn't it be nice to know when to enter and exit a trade and not really be guessing so much and have a lot of data to support it, not have a crazy, messy, distorted chart so you don't even know what in the heck you're looking at? Well, I have a simple solution for you. One of the issues with trading is trying to figure out where these trends are going to go. Big thing with trading stocks is knowing when to get out and when to buy in, whether it's a long position or a short position. Trying to figure out where the trend is going to go is the hardest part about trading. So let's take a look at Micron Technology. MU is the ticker, and I usually trade options or stocks with MU multiple times a week. It is a very good intraday trading stock as well as weekly or bi-weekly swing. I'm going to show you guys is an awesome strategy that will allow you to get 80 to 90 percent wins with your scalping and intraday trading whether it be one to two minute or up to 30 minutes or an hour depending on the movement of the market you see this is the one minute chart really hard to decide how you're going to get into a trade here so looking at this chart if you guys are looking at the one minute chart you will see that it starts to come down here you would buy in and then guess what would happen it would level off and consolidate you would lose money same thing right here you'd see it to start to go up you'd buy in you'd reach a peak, start to come down. You might make a little bit, but most likely you would lose money. It's hard to tell when to get in. When you're looking at the volume on the bottom here, you can see where all the buy signals are. And it's a really good indicator when you see all these buy signals. But the problem with these is by the time you get the signals, the movement has already started and you're losing profit. In a choppy market like this, it can be crazy. So I'm going to show you guys a very good strategy. First thing we're going to do is we're going to go up here to your indicators and we're going to type in super trend once we go ahead and do that you're going to see a bunch of different super trends here but there's one specific one you're looking for is the ever get super trend add that to your favorites add that right now so you can see it gives you the buy and sell strategies this is a very good strategy but it does have its problems right here it gives you a buy signal you go all the way up perfect the problem is with the market moving sideways here with very little volume or momentum going up or down you can lose a lot of profits because of the fact that it's very risky but i got a solution for you i'm going to show you guys exactly how to correct this and how to increase profitability and your win percentage quite easily what we're going to do to fix it we're going to add the indicator two more times so super trend from everget we're going to add it two more times so we have three of them so now that we've got the three indicators here we're going to go to the very first one up at the top click settings we're going to change the at our period to 12 and we're going to change the multiplier to three so we're going to go to the second indicator right here and we are going to set the atr period to 10 and the atr multiplier to one next we move along to the third indicator and we are going to set this to 11 and two now this is kind of up to you but it's kind of messy here so we're going to go into each and every one of these and turn off the buy and the sell labels on all three of them this way it is not too confusing for you now we got ourselves a nice clean setup how this strategy works is we will only enter a long trade if there's three moving green lines you guys see right here you don't go into the trade until it hits three lines of green and then we go right up and you can see we would have made some good money and the same thing with a short position we don't enter until there's three lines you can see right here we now have three lines right here we enter the short position and we make some very good profit however there is a flaw with this strategy and you can see guys right here there's only two lines then it breaks to three then to two then to three then to two so in this kind of a situation we don't enter the trade down here we get a green line but we do not enter the trade yet we continue to wait we've now got three green lines so we go ahead and enter the trade it's somewhat consolidating but moves its way up because it's showing these three lines indicate that there is bullish momentum for a long position the same way these three lines indicate there's a bearish momentum for a short position you have to be very patient when you see stuff like like this when you're seeing consolidation like this you do not jump in just be patient and wait for the market to show you what it's doing right here three lines we enter a short position 
and then we are out. If you're wondering when to exit the trades, that is very easy. What we do is once we enter on the three lines, moving down in a bearish short position, as soon as we lose one of the lines, like right here, we lose the red line and it turns green, we exit the trade. Same thing with a bullish momentum long position. We see a green line here, but we wait to enter. The two red lines in the top disappear. We get two green lines. We enter the trade. We ride this momentum in the long position. And as soon as we see the first red line appear, we exit the trade. This is the safest strategy. Sometimes it doesn't pan out. As you guys can see here, we had a held longer. We could have made a little extra profit. But typically what I recommend is when you see the first red line appear, you exit your long trade the same way that you would on your short trade. You can see here on the short trade, as soon as you see a green line, we exit the trade. And there is something else we can do right now that I'm going to show you, which will not only increase profitability and your chances of making better trades, but also make it even easier to decide when to enter or exit trades. And that is the exponential moving average. We're going to go ahead and add that indicator here. You can see that I've got the EMA exponential moving average right here. We're going to add this to the chart. So the reason why this strategy paired up is so great is because the super trend is good at finding short-term trends and the 200 EMA is excellent at finding long-term trends. So we're going to go over here to your EMA that you just added. We're going to click on it. We're going to change the length to 200 and we're going to click OK. So the way this strategy works is we only enter the trade if the lines are green and we're above the 200-day moving average, like so. You can see that we broke above the 200 day moving average and we have three green lines, we enter the trade. And you can see that we made a lot of money here. We see a red line, we exit the trade. And the same thing goes for a short position. We don't enter a short position until we have three red lines and we're below the 200 day moving average. As you can see right here, we're getting ready to enter this trade. It falls below the 200 day moving average and three lines and you can see we're making a lot of profit here. We wait for three green lines and that's when we exit our short position. Right here, we exit our short position. So here we are with Apple to show you guys another example of how and when to enter a long trade. You can see right here, it's consolidating. We have three green lines. We're above the 200 day moving average. So we're getting ready to see how this plays out. And we will see that we're waiting for the red lines to disappear. We've got three green lines that just appeared. We're above the 200 day moving average. So we enter the trade. And as you'll see, this plays out very well. A lot of money is being made on this trade. As long as we have three lines moving forward, we are good. Do not pay attention to this line right here. It could throw you off. We're above the moving day average and had three lines. And you can watch for the break in that green line. But because it was so short, it's not really a risk. And we wait for the three lines right here and we would exit the trade. However, we could have held longer, but it's rather safe to just take profits and exit the trade. It does continue on a little bit higher, but it drops off right there. So you can see this was a very good indicator. We left a little bit of profits on the table here. But a way around that is one more indicator that I like to use, which makes everything so much easier. And that's the Heikinashi. And these Heikinashi candles will actually clean up a lot of the noise. So we go up here to your candles and we click on the different sets of candles you have and we click on Heikinashi. So let's go to where we would be in a trade and have a bad signal to sell. For example, on my previous strategy, I said, if you see one red line, you get out. If you're not using the moving day average, that would be the case. But in order to make it more accurate, we added the moving day average. With the moving day average and us being three green lines, bullish momentum above the moving average, one red line could be a false signal. We have to wait for a second red line. So you could see right there, it stays bullish. Two red lines mean nothing and it continues to go up. However, when we get these three red lines, that would be an indicator on a five minute chart for you to exit the trade. However, by switching to the Heikinashi candles, you can see the three green lines really turn to two and you can see they're resisted bearish candles, which shows us that there's some form of resistance going on here. And we could probably stay in the trade a little bit longer and move our way up. So I just showed you guys three strategies how to make good trades, even better trades, and then make them bulletproof. One last tip I wanna show you guys on how to perfect this strategy is knowing the difference between your one minute, three minute, five minute chart. So let's say we're here trying to decide if we should enter a short position. We have three lines, 
that are kind of breaking up on the third line. We're below the moving day average, and we're trying to figure out, should we enter this short position? We're in the one-minute chart. We switch over to the three-minute chart, and if the three-minute chart supports the one-minute chart, we enter the trade. You can see here that the three-minute chart shows we're not bearish enough, and we're still above the moving day average. So that means in the three-minute charts, more long-term, we're not quite there yet. It means this change just happened, and there's not enough data to support this as a long-term trend. This is more of a scalping situation situation. So what we do is we play this out in the three minute chart for just a little bit longer. We see now that about six minutes later, we now have three lines and bearish momentum. We switch this back to the one minute chart and we can see we have a lot of bearish momentum. And then when we switch back to the three minute chart, there's no doubt that we are now moving below the 200 moving day average. We switch over to the five minute chart and it supports the same thing as the one minute and the three minute. So we had to be a little bit patient in order to enter this trade. But you know what? All trading really is patient people taking money from impatient people. We now confirmed on the one minute, three minute, and five minute. So we are good to enter this trade as we now have proof that there's momentum over the previous one and three minute candles, that there is a bearish momentum. So we switch back to the three minute candle and we go ahead and we enter the trade. And you can see that it continues to go down more and more and more. And we take lots of profit here. We're still bearish momentum three red candles and we drop a little bit more. We see two green candles, we exit the trade. We zoom out to see our profits. We were trying to make a decision here to enter the short trade. We waited for confirmation on the one and the three minute candle or even the five minute candle. We entered the trade and allows us to take all these profits. The reason we didn't wait for the five minute trade is a lot of intraday activity takes place between the one and the three minute. The five minute can be more of a confirmation for a longer, say 30, one hour, even two hour day trade. However, once we confirm we were below on the one minute and the three minute, we enter the trade so we can take all these profits right here. I just showed you three amazing strategies to make some awesome profits with your trades. Be sure to like this video, share it, comment below. What do you guys think? Follow the live game streams and the live videos here on YouTube. And be sure to check me out on TikTok Instagram, Twitter, as well as Twitch, all acrylics are the one and only. Be sure to check into the live game streams on TikTok and Twitch every night, and we'll see you guys over there. We play games all the time. It's nothing but stocks, games, and lifestyle here. We'll see you on the next upload or live stream. You take care of yourselves. Be sure to check out the gaming store as well to support the channel right there on the screen, the acrylics one and only, acrylics.com, and we'll see you guys on the next upload or live stream. Take care of yourselves deuces you guys are still here of course you are you're learning so much cool stuff right well be sure to subscribe and make sure to follow me over on tiktok and twitch for the live game streams check out my other videos and hey come right now and stop in the live game stream on tiktok and twitch and i'll answer some questions for you about games or stocks let's go